Hey guys, it's Jessica Hayes. Finally recorded a lookbook. I know it's been so long since I last did one of those, probably from last winter. Uh, it just takes me so long to kind of curate a bunch of stuff to get together because I do wear a lot of the stuff over and over each season. But finally, I have updated my wardrobe with a bunch of vegan leather stuff and shoes and new accessories, glasses, you name it. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Obviously, it's still obsessed with chokers. This is a black velvet one from Shop Dixie. This cute little dainty crescent moon from Shop Dixie also. This faux suede bolo, which you can make any length. And then this gorgeous choker, very elvish. And this is my favorite setup right now. So I have the third eye ring from the Great Frog London, the double skull ring from Souvenir Jewelry my blood milk, and then this little vintage snake midi ring. Also have some new frames because, well, if you know me, you know I have definitely a shopping addiction with buying new frames. So these ones are from Valley Eyewear. This is the Dead Coffin Club, and any of their sunglasses you can get made into prescription or optical glasses. Freaking love these ones. One of my girlfriends bought me these ones from Sunglass Spot. One of my naughty purchases while I was in LA, these gorgeous McQueen glasses. Treat yourself. So probably one of my favorite pieces that I have picked up is this PVC skirt from ASOS. I bought it once, I returned it because I thought, where am I actually gonna wear this to? Because I already have some other leather and leather skirts but I do love this piece and I can't wait to wear it we are going to go see AFI in a few weeks time and I think I'm gonna rock this one for the concert 
this cute little swing dress with the pockets the little t-shirt jersey dress is from cheap monday i went there when i was in london for imats and i just absolutely love that store but it's the kind of stuff that i feel like i need to try on but this dress was super cute i love that there's pockets in it i picked up this vegan leather uh, o-ring belt from asos and i've been wearing this pretty much every time i wear jeans it's, it's not too crazy big i'm getting a little bit overall the western style belt buckles that i have so this is perfect without being too like a dad belt speaking of belts i did get this custom made for the cat von d satan sinner party from zayna bane definitely was the highlight of my outfit you can wear it this way you can also wear it this way as well with the buckles the reason why i got this custom made is because this is made out of pvc Zayna Bane do a lot of leather stuff, but I have been getting some stuff custom made from them in PVC so that I'm no longer wearing leather. Another custom thing that I have from Zayna Bane is this little pentagram bag. This is made out of PVC. I think I originally saw this on uh, ReneeRuin.com, which is a really good blog to follow if you're into uh, dark kind of fashion. So I've been wanting this bag for so, 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 so long. Finally, I have it and I couldn't be happier with it. I was originally gonna get the black one, but as I got a little bit older, I think that, you know, pentagrams kind of can become, I don't know, a little bit. Someone actually had a great word for it. It was called wanky goth. So because this was smaller, I just felt like the pentagram was a little less noticeable. It just kind of looks like a bunch of cool things. One of my favorite shirts of the moment, this one with this hot lad on it. I got this from a store in London that I remembered so well. When me and my husband were there last September, we went and visited and there was the coolest goth lady in there. She wears corpse paint literally every day. I saw her in fall and then when we went back in spring, she had it on again. I think the store is called Glitter of Camden. It's in the Camden Market area. A lot of the cool shirts that I have bought lately have been from my trips to London. They always have great old goth shirts. Basically, my number one fashion tip from this little haul is if you find something in mesh, just freaking buy it because it's so good for layering. This is one of the the t-shirts that I've been wearing all summer. I didn't actually wear this in the lookbook, but I wore this in my little shopping trip that I just uploaded on the LA vlog. I wore this with the o-ring belt and my pleather jeans. Those jeans I have two pairs of because they're so damn good. I've never found a pleather jean that fits as great and doesn't wash off when you wash it. I almost forgot this one. This is my normal everyday handbag from Matt and & Nat and they have amazing vegan leather handbags, briefcases. I love this bag. It's kind of like a doctor's bag. It is sold out online, but I did get it from an Amazon seller called Vegan Chic. So maybe you can still find something or something similar to that, but check out Matt and Nat for some good vegan leather goods. Hope you guys enjoyed this fashion lookbook and haul. I do apologize that it's been so long. I really will try to get it done. Now that I have this white in my kitchen, I actually have a backdrop. If you watch my last lookbook, I did say that I was going to quit shopping at Forever 31, but I have been buying a few little bits and pieces from there. They, they have good basics. I do do most of my shopping on ASOS and Revolve now. Um, a little bit from Nordstrom as well. If you guys have any other brands that you recommend for vegan shoes, let me know because it's kind of a struggle for me right now. I'm finding it really hard to find any good shoes that are vegan and shoes are like my thing. But you know, I feel good about making the transition. So yeah, if you have any brands that you know of, drop them below. I would love, love, love to hear about any extra shoe brands. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys soon.